Israel spent 40 years in the wilderness, but through all that time, the Lord tells them they lacked nothing. The Lord gave them everything that they needed. Even though they were in a place where they couldn't grow crops, where there was no water, they never lacked anything. The Lord provided water miraculously. The Lord provided bread. When they wanted meat, the Lord provided meat. Uh, not only did they have all the food that they needed to keep them alive for 40 years in the desert, uh, but their shoes didn't wear out, their clothing didn't wear out. God miraculously preserved them uh, from decay through 40 years in the wilderness. And what was Israel's response? Israel's response was to grumble. We're tired of manna. The water's bitter. They get some meat and they don't like the meat. Uh, why did you bring us out here in the first place? The land is great. The land is flowing with milk and honey. The land has bunches of grapes that are too big for a single person to carry. But the people are too big. Why did you bring us out? You brought us out to destroy us in the wilderness. Grumble, 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 complain, complain, complain. And that, in the book of Numbers, is the deadly sin of Israel. They do lots of other things. They worship idols. They worship golden calves. They worship Baals. They rebel against the commandments of the Lord. But over and over again, the central sin is the sin of grumbling. Paul says this in 1 Corinthians 10. Uh, they grumbled and they were destroyed by the destroyer. God has given them everything that they need, and yet they are ungrateful. And ingratitude is the pathway to death. The Eucharist is our right of gratitude. It's our right of thanksgiving. That's what the word Eucharist means. It's from a Greek word that means to give thanks. It's the, the Lord's Supper is called Eucharist because it includes a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of thanksgiving for bread and wine, which includes a prayer of thanksgiving for everything that the Lord has given us. The Eucharist is our training in gratitude. It's a weekly pedagogy in gratitude. It's a weekly training in ungrumbling. And as it teaches us gratitude, as it teaches us to live lives of thankfulness, the Eucharist is also uh, setting us on the path of life. Grumbling is a deadly sin. And the Lord has given us a, a meal to teach us to be grateful so that we live, uh, so that we can live before Him and walk in the path of life.